right, good morning guys. So the spies are almost exactly on the 100th day now. This is the level I've been talking about on, on, uh, for a while, but yeah, we'll see. Still need that panic flush. We haven't gotten it, so maybe I'm thinking maybe the 200, a test or undercut of the 200 day could be nice for a, for a, for a bottom, at least in the spice. In the Nasdaq, I think the 100 day is still a valid support level. We really need that, like slow slow go, uh, in shop every time we go down a little bit we need that you know two three four solid days in a row where the market goes down get get a little bit of a panic get all these crazy people who think the markets only go up out of the markets and then we can have a nice little bottom but you know that that could take a while My Twitter imposter? Yeah. I let him be. I let him be. I reported him, but you know, we'll see when Twitter does something. It's also an intelligence test, right? If someone sends that guy money, like, I mean, really? You send someone on Twitter money? Like, you, you kind of deserve to lose that money. I mean, <laughs> to be honest. Like, so yeah. I'm not really super upset about that guy being an imposter, but it would be nice if he gets banned. But Twitter is not really doing anything. Short zoom. I don't really like the short zoom idea. It's still showing some incre incre uh, incredible uh, relative strength. Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not trading anyone's money. Yeah, I'm holding on to them. They're holding up fairly well. But I also have a big, big sh uh, position in Tesla to offset it. I, I had 15,000 shares yesterday. I've covered some in pre-market. I still have 14,000 shares just in case it gets some panic and goes to the 100 day. So this is a little bit of a hedge for the rest of my longs. But yeah, like Twitter holding up well, DraftKings holding up well, CrowdStrike holding up well. LAC is tanking, but this is like a, like 1% of my equity. It's a meaningless position. I don't I don't care if I if I if I have to sell it break even after being up hundred percent almost on it like it doesn't really matter. Like I think it you know if this idea works it's gonna go to twenty thirty forty uh, so but we'll see. So most of my things are holding up well. So I'm not really really worried and we are getting to a potential bounce zone really quickly here. Uh, like we are not far away. From the 100 day in the Nasdaq 100, for example. We'll see. But obviously, it's never fun having several red days in a row when you have a bunch of longs on, but they're all showing relative strength. So I'm not really worried about it. I am watching UVXY potential opening range highs in case we go straight down. Uh, I'm not going to do any big size on it, but in case we start seeing some panic, this UVXY could start zooming higher. Um, so, you know, I'll, I'll do some small 
again just to hedge my overall portfolio but n nothing i'm gonna do any big size on at all at all is this the hardest market to trade uh, yeah, it's a bit tricky but you know the, the tricky part is we get these bounces like as soon as the selling comes off the market we start seeing breakouts like really nice setups in the leading stocks and then the market bounces for one or two days and then we slam down again uh, that's been a little bit tricky but you know not the end of the world. There's been some really big opportunities that have worked nicely, like Twitter and uh, like this DraftKing I bought a couple of weeks ago. This thing went up like 40% in a week. So there's been uh, some really nice ones. Too late to short Nikola. Uh, it's down 67% in the past couple of weeks uh you know you do what you have to do topper where is a short it's holding up really well i really don't see a good short setup here the 20 day is just uh, just below, you know, it's probably going to bounce off there. Did you get out of Livongo? I never had Livongo, or did I? No, wait, th didn't I buy it this... Wait, didn't I have it like if next last week? I don't remember. I'm not in Livongo. Uh... I, I, maybe I had it last week, I don't remember. But I did sell Fiverr yesterday, though. When it had this uh, ugly close, I sold it for a small profit. Didn't want to... You know, it was a tiny position you know, to begin with, so I just you know sold it. I don't like watching like tiny positions. They take so much energy. Uh, did I? Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I may have had it on this day here, but I in, in that case I did get stopped out of it. I don't really remember if I, if I had it or not. How is the boat? Uh, it's nice. I can't drive it yet, but I've been on it. Like I traded a little bit from it yesterday. It's huge. It's a huge boat. Well, if you want a day trade, this is not really the room for you or the community for you. We focus on swing trading. Fifty four foot. Why is moderator? It's a bot. Because you are, uh, let's see, you're you're spamming caps apparently. It's a bot. It's night bot. Um. If it's better, like I, I think it's mostly better to. Uh, to swing trade because day trading is much harder swing trading is much easier than sw uh, day trading in my opinion
look, like, like, you know, guys, you don't have to trade every day. Like, it's fine to sit on hands and wait it out. Every day is not an opportunity to make money. Every day is an opportunity to lose money. But it's definitely not an opportunity to make money. Can I wait, have to wait for your spots? Um, something I personally I, are struggling with. And have always been struggling with. Yeah. Ideal scenario if we get some kind of a, you know, panic flush, that would be the best thing that could happen. That could that would be the best thing that would, would happen. kind of funny you can clearly see there's fewer and fewer people in the room uh, the, the longer the market goes down it's kind of funny <laughs> oh. wonder why soon we're gonna go back to 100 people in the room if this uh, market keeps uh, you know trending lower <laughs> So Tesla is exactly on a 50 day. This could be a nice, you know, for shorter term traders, that could be a nice risk reward on a long. Not for me, I'm, I'm still short 14,000 shares, just in case this it goes to the 100 day. If it bounces and, you know, fails the bounce. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see. Down this SPI could be a no-brainer short. Oh, it's halted. I tried to get uh, 50,000 shares locate, but uh, I, I wasn't able to get more than 16,000, so I, I didn't, I didn't take those shares. I didn't realize this thing was up like 4,000 percent yesterday. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, it's uh, four dollars twenty-five cents. <laughs> Insanely expensive. Uh, JKS. Uh, nah, I don't really see a meaner version set up here. All right, let's see if the if Tesla starts losing the 50 day man, we could get some fireworks on the downside. I'm willing to add more to this short. For now most of the 
longs in or pretty much every long in my portfolio is trying to bounce. That's a good sign. I'm thinking if they start taking out the lows of the day, if they fail the bounces, I'm gonna size down everything by a third, maybe even half. Because you know you never know how low the markets can go. And if 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 we fail a bounce here, you know, look, we could go down another ten percent in a few days. You never know. So you gotta you know play it careful. Alright, Tesla is about to take out lows of the day, okay. Oh shit, Tesla took out lows of the day. Wow, that was fast. Well, Tesla short is uh, about 600k so far. Can't complain. Unfortunately, I'm bleeding money on most of my lungs, so it kind of offsets that. <laughs> I, I, I went long some UVXY here in case we get panicked. This thing could start speeding up. Could. Could is the... Oh, damn. I missed the short on te the ad on Tesla. Can't believe it. Now I have to wait for a bounce back to VVAP. Holy shit, Tesla.
maybe I'll do some sh uh, zoom. It's holding up well, but the opening range low is distinct. You know, it does have some uh, downside. Possibly. AMD breaking opening range highs? Wow, it is. Interesting. This thing can't break lower. It depends. Both limit the market. Mostly market. It's so easy to find out my returns, my monthly return. All you have to do is follow the instructions on the screen and it's all there. All. Then you have to do some reading and then you have to do some math. And boom, problem solved. Or actually, never mind. I, I didn't update that part. Yeah, I need to update that part of the of the about page. Never mind. It's not in there. I thought it was. Small caps on fire? I don't know about that. Or actually, yeah, some some of them are. Some of them are. Some of these micro cap names are going nuts. Haven't seen that in a while. That means there's speculation money in the markets. Even though we are going lower. That's interesting. But yeah, you're right. SPI, Pola, Sun W, and NETE. Uh, no, pretty much never nowadays. I used to trade these types of stocks more, but nowadays I don't really give a shit. Like, there's, you know, I, they're too random for me. It's so hard to find them. You gotta be so fast that you most of the time you can't do big size and it's just not worth it for me. I I'll, I stick to my large caps. Yeah, this is great. You can clearly see which stocks are holding up well. Like Square, once we get a market bounce, this thing is gonna go to 200. 
How do I know that? Because it's telling us. It's screaming to us. It wants to go higher. Right? It's screaming to us. All we have to do is to listen. Now is the time to see which stocks are holding up the best. Those are the ones that are going to go. Once the, this correction ends. All you have to do is pay attention and listen. Right? There are so many stocks holding up really well. Stuff like Fiverr. Right? In a few days we're going to have a new, nice setup on it again. Stuff like BILL. HZMP, NET, they're holding up really well and basing, building their bases. Roku, Doku, Roku and Doku, <laughs> EMPH, Viva, Apps, Livongo, Etsy, T-Doc, D-Dog, SC, there's so many stocks, like, they're all gonna go up 20, 30, 40% once this market correction ends. They're just waiting to go up, but they can't yet because the market is shit. TTD. SC, I think I already said. Pinterest. CrowdStrike. JD. Okta. They just need a little bit more. Some of these just need one or two days of more of basing, and they, they're going to have good setups. Peloton, this is just on its own planet, this stock. Zoom is also on its own planet. Shopify setting up really nicely. Undercut is rising 100 day and now it's building higher lows and it's building a little bit of a channel here yeah Tesla is about to take out a uh, high of the day again I'm gonna keep my short it didn't undercut to the 50 day what I'm more interested in is if it um, starts um, you know if it bounces and fails to bounce we'll have to wait and see I'm gonna keep it I covered a little bit more shares but Still have most of my position. Look at Zillow. This thing is still. Look at this thing. It bounced perfectly off the rising 10 day. That is, that is strength. Like down markets, people give up, they get frustrated. Down markets is where the fun fun stuff happens because you know after after you've had a correction of 10, 15 percent, the odds are pretty high you're gonna get a upwards move. That's the time to pay, uh, pay attention when the markets are down.
uh, GRWG. Um, uh, nah, it's not a channel, but it, it's kind of loose right now. But if it tightens up a little bit, it could be nice. Right now, it's just looking too random. So some of my portfolio names are starting to turn green. I have some of them have already turned green. That's Twitter is still hitting new lows though. <laughs> Why is this one showing relative weakness? Oh, suddenly, what a piece of shit. All right. All right. So now definitely I'm going to move some Oh, I think I got stopped out of UVXY. Yeah, I got st stopped out of that UVXY. Took a $16,000 loss on that little hedge. Okay. So now I'm definitely moving a bunch of stops to the lows of the uh, day. Like, if we take out the lows of the day, I'm gonna size down a lot of these names. I already sized down like MDB and CrowdStrike. Actually, MDB, I'm going to use my absolute stop at the lows of the day. Mm. All right. The bongo looks so amazing. Uh, needs to tighten up a little bit, but yeah. I think this thing is gonna go to 200, <laughs> maybe. Alright, so now we're in the middle of another bounce attempt, see if this, thing st uh, if this one sticks or are we gonna run up into the 20 EMA, 65 EMA on the 60 minute chart and get sold off again. So this time around the QQQ is actually built another higher low. That's a good sign, okay. The spies are bouncing off the 100 day. All right, what's the Nasdaq? And Nasdaq also put in a marginally higher low. So that's a good thing. And Fiverr about to take out this range. Man, this thing is so strong. QQQ right on the 50 moving average. Uh, no, it's not. I would have traded SC yesterday. Uh, it was on my watch list, but I didn't trade it. It wasn't tight enough. It was kind of a shoppy setup. Instead, I traded. Uh, what did I trade instead? Um, what did I buy yesterday? I bought some stock yesterday. No, I didn't buy any stock yesterday. I don't remember. No, I bought JD. Yeah, yeah. JD is the one I traded. It was, this felt a bit tighter. But the SC I passed on. <laughs> but it looks good. Like, Starting tomorrow or next few days, we're gonna have some really good setups in this thing. It's gonna be my main watch, one of my main watches going forward. Yeah, they're dumping. Well, gold is actually going higher now, but yeah, they've been dumping silver and gold the past few days.
again, this is when things start getting exciting. We have a lot of stocks setting up. The problem is though that September, October are historically the uh, hardest months, or up, up until mid-October. That's when the seasonality starts getting better, but obviously that's an average. That doesn't mean it's gonna be like that every year. And then we have the elections coming up and this and that and you know pretty much all of that is an ignore all that matters is the price section everything else is noise Yes. Guys, you don't even have to ask, uh, ask those things. It's all here. If the stocks is in my positions watch list, I'm in it. How much I'm up on the year? Uh, maybe 300% or so. 15 million ish. No, maybe. Maybe two thirds of it are long, so one third is uh, short, shorting ish. I don't know the exact numbers. Exactly, at least the boat's worth. Well, yeah, I, I was thinking about using the 50 day, and it did close the, below the 50 day, but. Then I looked at the weekly short and I was like, usually the 20 moving average on the weekly short is better, which is uh, about the 100 day on the, on the daily short. And it's also building another higher low for now. My entry points? How do you manage to avoid drawdowns? You don't. You don't. Drawdowns is, are a feature, not a bug. Now the key is to keep the drawdowns as small as possible. Hmm, Twitter keeps hitting lows, what a piece of shit. Yeah, you noticed it too. 
I noticed it also. I haven't been over 300 viewers in like over a week. You have a drawdown of 15%, it's about the, the same as the market. But the key is, is to make much more than the market when it turns up. Like the Nasdaq 100 is down, what, about 14%. Well, now it's down about 12, 13% from the highs. But the key is, once, the, once we go up 10, 15%, that's when you should make 20, 30, 50%. That's the key. This is how we separate degenerate gamblers from degenerate gamblers with, <laughs> with stop losses. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh. My longest drawdown after I became a profitable trader was in 2015 when I was, uh, it was a fifth, uh, yeah, nine month long drawdown. I went sideways for nine months. That was pretty, that sucked. Yeah. The Sun W. Why is this thing up? Is there any news on it? I have no idea what this thing is. <sighs> well, apparently a solar star. Some kind. Do you guys know why Sun works? Is up a gazillion percent in the past two sessions. Being acquired? Why am I not finding any news? Yeah, yeah, simple SPI, yeah, okay, thank you. But yeah, it is getting acquired, August 11. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely, you don't have to do any shorting at all. And you also don't have to go long at all. But I have a few different strategies, so I trade both long and short. No, I did the notes. There is no platform that does notes for you. My drawdown in this correction, uh, less than 10%. Actually, I don't even know if I had a drawdown because in the beginning I nailed it, nailed the short in Tesla and TQQ. Like, so the first leg of the drawdown, I made a lot of money. Uh, but, you know, somewhere here in the shop, I did lose a little bit of money, but I don't know. I, I you know, it was very little considering how much. Maybe I gave back some of what I made during the first leg of the drawdown. Or the, or the uh, market pullback. So I, I don't even know if I if I have been in a drawdown this market pullback. My equity balance is higher than it was on the peak, thanks to me nailing the short in TQQ and Tesla. That's why I short. Gives you uh, smoother uh, 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 returns. If you don't know, you don't have to go long and short. You can only be short and, or you, and you can only be on the long side. There's thousands of ways of making money in the markets. You, you don't have to do 
uh, you know, one or the other. You have to do something, obviously, but you can, you don't have to. Like you don't have to ever short, and you really don't have to ever go long either. To make money. No, you're not. You can make a lot of money just going long. That's 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 the whole point I'm trying to make. Mm, I do short uh, parabolics. I also short uh, uh, bounces into into moving averages. Uh, breakdowns also sometimes. It depends. Now we're having some insane bounces. Damn. Okay. I guess I should have covered more Tesla. <laughs> oh well. The notes I'm putting uh, on the chart are uh, notable news and earnings. Swing trading, um, swing trading, you can do swing trading on the short side too. But shorting overall is much harder. Like going long is much, much easier. SHLL, yeah, nice bounce. You see where it bounced? Right off the rising 50 day. It's like magic, right? No, I don't trade options or futures. I do not. No, we didn't have a panic moment. Unfortunately. Which means this bounce is probably gonna fail like all the other bounce attempts. No, Zoom is holding up really well. Undercut the rising 20 EMA on the 60 minute chart and now it's, it's building higher lows. Still showing big relative strength. But if it starts fading like mid late day of a tight range, I may go short some. But for now it's showing some big big strength. The big short, yeah I've seen it. Yes, only trading stocks. Nothing fancy.
Yeah, square I think is gonna be a nice little mover once this correction finally ends. This thing is just relentless, it just won't go down. Twilio is another one I'm watching. But again, what I'm afraid of, they're gonna trigger those stocks of really good setups in a couple of days and then we're gonna get rejected in the markets and have another leg lower. That's what I'm afraid of. They're not gonna make it easy for us. You know, it's been easy for six months and now, now, they're, making it, now they're making us work hard. GH? Uh, nah, it's just a very shoppy stock. Maybe if it goes sideways a bit more. Yeah, the solar, yeah, run is strong. CSIQ. Uh, EMPH also very strong. Selling options. I don't know what a selling option is. Sorry, over my head. Eat. Yeah, this eat is looking really good. This thing looks really, really good. I agree. Too thin for me, but yeah. Looks really strong. Is 100% the year doable trading the long setups alone? Uh, yes, very doable. Most years, yes. Most years, absolutely. And in a good year, you can easily make much, much more than that. If you're good, obviously. It's a skill based skill based sport.
Okay, guys, uh, this is like what you paint dry. Uh, I really don't see much value. I have my stop set and uh, there's really no, no good setups for today that I can see. The only thing I'm watching is potential ad spot on Tesla if it starts failing this bounce. And uh, potentially on Zoom also. Like this Zoom, like if we if we decide to take another leg lower in the markets, I don't think this Zoom. I'm like this Zoom could very easily pull back also. It may not hold up forever. So this is, you know, two things I'm watching. But on the long side, I really don't see anything for today. Uh, so I'm gonna cut the stream here. Uh, thanks for joining, and see you tomorrow. Wix looks really bad. No, it doesn't. Wix looks great. It just did an undercut of the 100 day, right? And if it can, you know, reclaim this range, it's going to be a great long setup in a couple of days. I don't think it looks bad at all. Still building higher lows, too. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.